All right, welcome to today's kind of how to paint an orc, for actually orc skin. Uh, not so much full orc. Um, there'll be a separate video where you can actually paint along. Uh, I'll be my first experiment with a, a paint along video. But today we're going to go over how I go about quickly creating an orc two-tone effect uh, on the skin itself. Uh, again, I'm trying to, you're try, when trying to do a horde army, any way you can uh, simplify the process, the better. So let's go ahead and get started. All right. So I've got just two different approaches. Uh, I'm going to show you my preferred one. This is my war boss character, and he is the uh, he's an example of how to go about. I'm going to go about doing this. You see, there is some dark. Uh, the, the shadows are darker than the raised portions, as you'd expect on a model. And there's an easy way to go about doing that. Uh, this is a second version approach I took. The kind you typically see with Game Workshop and what have you. Going with a light base coat and then use a wash. So in this particular case I use a shader, a uh, green, green tone, and made them, you know, basically darkened them up. Actually, you know... Uh, this would probably be better than what I actually used. What I use is a watered down version of, I believe it was this Delta uh, Crimson, or sorry, Christmas green. A dark green, like a salamander green, would work out well too. Uh, but again, just thin it down so it becomes more of a wash um, or a shade, a shader. Okay. Now, you'll notice the difference. This is lighter than this one, and actually, that this is what I, enabled me to kind of come up with an idea. Um, I do like this approach better. That's what I'm going to show you today. But this one gave me the uh, help me understand how I go about showing, you know, younger uh, orcs. Younger orcs are lighter in color, and as they get older, they get darker. And so, eventually, I'll do some uh, orc models, regular boys that I'll use that lighter, lighter green on. But let's just tackle this particular job here. It's really simple. I've got a primed knob boss. Okay, and for him, all we've got to do is paint the arms and the head. Okay, there's the rest of him is clothing of some sort. Okay? All right, so now, again, two steps, and it requires, all it's going to take is two colors of green. And what you're going to do is you're going to take a dark green and a light green, for example, using, in my particular case, I'm using Delta, but again, paint company doesn't matter. You can use a Reaper, you can use a Vallejo, you can use GW, whatever. Just a dark green that you want as the darker color, um, and then the lighter one that you want to use, kind of, if you will, almost like a highlighter. We're not actually going to be dry brushing anything here, though. So this is a real quick and easy way to get the, the skin done. All right. So to do this, you actually start with the dark color. You start with the darker green. So in this case, it's the Christmas green from Delta Paints. And just find yourself a, an appropriate paintbrush. And you just... This is, you can be sloppy about this one. Because here, oops, sorry, let me just do that right here. Let's see. Cover every little bit of skin you see with the dark green. Make sure it's in there good. Uh, get all the crevices. Because you're gonna, this is gonna be a, a simple approach. You're not going over it with the, any darker colors so you have to cover the recesses with this base coat get okay, real quick okay now the arms now this, you're actually going to see this on the, I'm going to continue this model on the next video, or the rest of the video. 
uh, actually, you know, painting, you know, paint along kind of video. Uh, but even if I wasn't going to do that, or if, even if I was, uh, because I'm doing that, I'm doing this in the order that I normally approach models. I always do the skin tones first, simply because they're the lo usually the lowest portion on the model that has to be painted. Everything else is raised, and so this is easiest, most easily accessible uh, by going after the skin first. Okay, almost done. And remember, we're going to make the, got to do the hands as well. Never forget that. Try not to miss any parts. You don't have to go back over it and catch something up. And that is my cat. My cat wants to go outside. He's just going to have to wait. <laughs> okay. okay. Now here, around the, the gun, this is the one place where you kind of break the rule of painting the lowest layer first. The lowest layer here is actually the grip of the gun. Well, it's easier if you just go after one step at a time, you know, do one color at a time, instead of stopping, going back and painting the Shuda, or Slugga in this case, and then going back and redoing the green. You can always paint the edge up to the skin a lot pretty easily on a gripped gun weapon like this so it's not really that bad going through and doing a uh, the skin here first all right okay so now it's time to wash this particular brush Hold on. all right okay now we're gonna let that dry a couple minutes and then, now normally I'll do this with a large group of works, so I'll finish the first one, and by the time I get down to the fifth one, the first one's dry. You know, I usually do a squat of ten at a time, so. So, be back in a few minutes, well, after the paint dries. Okay, it's fairly dry now, so now we're going to go to the light color. Now this, I'm going to use a, a Jubilee Green. Uh, you could use, uh, like, Snatling Green. Uh, just a nice, a brighter one that would serve more as a highlight. And the goal here is to hit all of the raised portions of their musculature. You're not going to be putting a base coat on again. This is very, very careful as you're applying this. Matter of fact, what I'll often do is I will use a, uh, a thinner brush. So this is the brush I used to base coat it. So this is the brush I'll now use for the Jubilee Green. Because my goal here now is to only hit the raised sections of the model. So right here you can see his furrowed brow, so I'm going to hit the top of that, blend it back a bit. Right here on the edge. In a way it's almost like edge highlight, almost. Okay. And just drag it down. Make sure you're catching the the brows. Okay. Um, top of the ear, for example. You definitely want to catch that. Um, he's gonna hit the top of the cheekbones there, but just the top. And this, you're not dry brushing here. You are you're applying a very thin amount or small amount of the uh, color okay Now when it comes to the arm, so I actually hear back, I've got 
in his back he's got these two very muscular shoulder muscles here you want to touch on those a bit you can actually go back here get the back of his head so when you're looking from behind you can see the color pops out a little bit All right now on the arm this is where it's really quick because you're just going to hit the tops of the arms from really the outside inside so here from the inside you're going to hit the top of the, uh, the muscle here and top of the muscle there you're going to hit the top of his thumb right there and just cr bring it across the knuckles real quick very very little paint needs to go on there and then here again same thing but you're going to hit the top of the muscle outside of his shoulder whoops need more paint outside of his shoulder top of the forearm like this top of his well just basically drag it across the knuckles a bit this is almost dry brushing but you need to have a little bit more paint on there than you would if you dry brushed because you need to you're, you're not going for you know uh, competition quality paint you're looking for tabletop with a little bit of uh, highlight so Put enough on there where you can drag it over and highlight those. Okay. And then clean your brush off. You know, basically get rid of the excess on any bulging areas that are on the outside. Don't worry about the inside because the light doesn't really get in there much. Okay. Now here, see, under the arm, well, most of this is going to be in shadow, but if you want to just add a little bit more definition, you can, you know, hit a couple spots. So right here. I'm just going to hit the inside of that. Out here you need it because here's his bicep right up on top. There's this little section right there. On the top here. There, that's about it. And just clean your brush off on. This is this part actually is dry brushing. When you're almost got no paint left, just drag it across some of the raised areas. Just throw some dry brush kind of effect on there. Alright, and that's all it takes to get a two-tone color on Yorks. And there it is. Uh, five minutes of highlighting on a model. And that was taking my time. So, alright, that's on an Orc knob in this case, but it works on all, all of them. It, again, now, <clears throat> I like to do the knobs darker than the, the boys, and so you can always use a lighter green as the base. Um, and then still use that very light green, like a snotling green, as your highlight. Okay? Alright, so if you want to continue, see me uh, complete the, this work, you can go back to my uh, playlist for uh, paint alongs and just see how the, this orc comes to life. But for now, that's how you go ahead and do a simple two tone orc skin on your uh, orc army. Alright? Thanks for watching. Share, like, subscribe. Let me know if this has helped you or not. Uh, or ask me if any, anything that you may, may want me to cover or touch base on. I'll make videos of that. All right. Thank you very much. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.